We received a lot of requests for a Madve Mishka video, but it's not one that is very easy to make. As it turns out, Sam Consentino was right when he wrote this in his first ranking this season. It is hard to find videos on Mitchkov, but it's not because his games aren't being broadcasted. It's because of copyright laws. But thinking about it, just because we can't show any of Mitchkov's league footage doesn't mean we can't make a video on him. We just have to do it another way. So we're going to play right into the stereotype of the North American scout and watch only tournament games. Some of these games will be from a couple of seasons ago, but honestly, Mitchkov's game hasn't changed all that much since then. He just became a better version of himself. Sharp angle save, rebound in behind, and he scores! It's a lacrosse style goal! He just pulled a Michigan! Mishkov's game is incredibly unique. In general, there are two ways to approach hockey. Some players play it like it's chess. They move pieces around, plan their attacks, and then strike. And others play it more like it's checkers. They just drive ahead, through the opposition, and go for it. Goes sliding into the net. What makes Mitchkov special is that he plays both games at the same time. He's a player who likes to dangle, shoot on net, drive inside, and even battle on the walls despite his size. He forces a lot of plays through the opposition. But at the same time, he also has this incredible tactical dimension to his game. A grandmaster level understanding of the offensive play, especially of the rush. His hockey sense is by far his best attribute. At his best, his skills simply serve his creative mind. Three main abilities define his game. They all mix very well together and with his hockey sense. The first one is his high level stick handling ability. Mitchkov has perfect control over the puck. He can do pretty much everything he wants with it. But even if Mitchkov can dangle, he mostly uses his stick handling to acquire a pace advantage over the opposition and to compensate for his closer to average skating stride. These are all similar clips. You see Mitchkov attack down the wing, what he wants to do is cut inside and go to the net. But defenders, who are pretty much all older than him in those clips, manage to gap up with him. So what he does instead is bait them into a poke check. By doing this, he forces defenders to reach and stop striding for a second, which gives him the speed advantage he needs to complete his move. Mitchkov's stick handling is also a great playmaking tool. You can see his hockey sense and manipulative mind in the way he handles and moves the puck. He prepares his passes with hesitation moves and fakes, and he holds his deception until teammates get to the right spot. Because they have the talent on the power play that can do some damage as well. And speaking of damage, there is Mitch Kopp now getting still loose. It's still loose. It was underneath the goaltender, and then comes back out to the blue line. Mitch Kopp puts it in front. They score. He can also play a much more pacey puck moving game and simply push the puck into space for teammates with a perfect touch. Clear to the line, Magurin holds it in, Mitch Koff's got it, dishes off, Buchel scores! And he's just as precise with his backhand and forehand. This is an incredible sequence that shows many of his skills. He looks ahead in a neutral zone and sees a defender coming at him, so he cuts back and opens up his body. He makes the defender think he's passing back to his teammate, but then he lifts his stick and slides his bottom hand all the way down to bring the puck in his feet and move around the opponent. He finishes the dangle with a precise backhand pass. That's a very complex solution to this forechecking pressure. If he botched the execution, it could have led to a dangerous turnover. But Mitchkov is not afraid of risk. He really believes in his abilities. With a minute 15 left on this five minute major. Puck put in front, quap the save, rebound loose. Back oh hand, my goodness. Scores, and he shot that one between his legs. This also makes him more of a finisher than a playmaker overall, although he can pass the puck just as well as anyone in this draft. If he has a choice between an open shot, even from a difficult angle, and a potential pass option in a slot, he's probably going to think that he has the better chance of scoring. It's that kind of mentality and talent that made him break a long list of records, both at the junior level and at the professional one, and that made him the elite prospect that he is now. Second, correct. Right? Absolutely right, Jim. There There's it the hat is. Trick. right in front. Mitchkov can pull off every type of NHL shot. He can pick the corners of the net with a wrist shot release on the power play. 
far side. Shot and a goal. What a labeled rocket that was. He can speed up his draw in reduced space and still get a lot of power, lift, and precision in his shot. Drops it off, shot the goal! And it's... He can fire in stride of the rush with defenders on his back and even play with his footwork to mask his release timing and deceive goaltenders. He can also chain fakes into shots and change his release point to bypass screens. And he can score with just straight powerful one-timers. Back for Mohamedoula, Michkov tees it up and scores! Back Bay, Michkov, power play goal! Michkov can be a bit of a hammer on the ice. There's a harder side to his game. It's not that he's really strong, he's not, but he doesn't shy away from contact. He seems to even enjoy it at times. Or at least that's what it feels like when watching him. He goes out of his way to slam opponents and even makes reverse hits from time to time to protect the puck. And he does have some good board battles habits. When retrieving a puck, he doesn't stop on the wall, but makes sure to keep his feet moving away from the boards to avoid being pinned. He forces defenders to play catch up. And he does have some puck protection techniques. He leans against opponents, uses his arm to push back against them, and fights through checks. Of course, at his size, at his age, Michkov loses many battles, especially in the KHL. But the physical side of his game still remains somewhat projectable to the NHL, because it's not based on his frame and strength, but again on his hockey sense. He's great at feeling where pressure is coming from and the angle of approach of defenders. And he knows exactly when to spin away from them to escape. How about that move? Spins away and scores! He slows down and waits for opponents to approach him. And then, when they're about to get on him, when he sees their stick come out for a poke check, he explodes away, contrary to their feet. Those are the same manipulation tricks that we saw in Open Nice earlier. Michkov invites pressure, he makes defenders slow down and commit to him, and then he uses that window to beat them. What he's best at, in general, is spotting advantages, a bit like Connor Bedar. Michkov spots holes in the opposition's coverage, defenders who are out of position, overreaching, or off their angles. And he takes advantage of those mistakes, more often than not, by beating them inside. Michkov is not one of those smaller European players who stick to the periphery. He drives to the middle of the ice constantly and with a lot of energy. On the smaller NHL ice, his board manipulations and hard net drives could become even better and more frequent, because Michkov always looks for the best way to score points in any situation. And that's why there's such a weird and unique contrast in his game, why it feels like he's playing two different games at the same time. In the offensive zone, he often finds the quickest path to the net. He's always shooting and driving inside, but in transition, that's where his chess game shows up the most. He wants to stay two or three steps ahead of the position, and he loves to build elaborate passing plays by changing speeds, using teammates, and manipulating defensive gaps. The principle behind his rushing game is simple, but sometimes hard to execute well. Michkov drags defenders away, by pushing them back or by cutting laterally. He makes some pick plays and invites teammates to attack the holes he leaves, which then allows Michkov to come in behind and attack good spots in the offensive zone. Basically, Michkov constantly uses the back layers of the attack. That's where he first looks to pass. His give and goes, change of sides, and quick passing plays enables his team to break through set formations. And his rush patterns and offensive creativity only got better since his tournament days. The third period. A drop pass there, score! Who's the team? We can't show video of Michkov's progress in the KHL, but what we can do is show the data. He was just amazing after joining Sochi. As an example, on Lassie Alanen's tracking project, Michkov created more scoring chances, either for himself or his teammates, than any draft eligible prospect in the KHL, SHL, or Liga over the past five years. He also sits at the top in other metrics, like in his ability to get the puck from the boards to the middle of the ice in the offensive zone. Michkov is a complex attacker, a very skilled and smart one, but his playstyle does come with drawbacks. He's always playing in anticipation, that means that he's always gambling on plays. He takes chances, he will cheat on breakouts to try and beat defenders of the mark and create a speed advantage. And when he can create that advantage, he will slow down, bring the puck back and try and find it another way. He will also force shots and passes and dangles to try and score. These things will probably annoy some NHL coaches, but that's just who he is. His development will erase some of his mistakes and make him a better gambler. But it's very likely that his style of play won't change too much, especially if he's kept in the same environment in Russia. The team that drafts Michkov will have to understand that he comes with his own style of game and they will have to make room for it. But it shouldn't be too hard considering the massive offensive rewards that he will bring. He's just an elite talent. And that's a player who is worth waiting for.
Omichkov, Krasave! So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. You can also check out epringside.com for more prospect analysis.